The ocean has taken up about one-third of the carbon dioxide emissions from human activities. When this carbon dioxide reacts with seawater, it changes the chemistry of the ocean, increasing its acidity. This human-induced process, called ocean acidification, is a major threat to marine ecosystems and the livelihoods and economies that depend on them. Just like humans, marine organisms require a certain range of environmental conditions to survive. For example, organisms like corals, mussels, and certain sea snails called pteropods require a minimum concentration of carbonate ions to be able to build their shells and skeletons. Before human interference, the ocean offered plenty of carbonate ions for these marine organisms to thrive. However, ocean acidification is causing carbonate ion levels to decrease significantly. In some regions, such as the Southern Ocean, carbonate ion concentrations are already becoming dangerously low for some marine organisms. If levels drop below a certain minimum, even for a short period of time, it dissolves the shells of pteropods, exposing these creatures to an increased risk of predation and infection. Prolonged exposure to such conditions can even threaten their survival. New research, published in the journal Nature Climate Change, investigates how long such harmful events are predicted to last each year in the Southern Ocean as carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere continue to rise. As this animation shows, these events are rare today. By 2035, ocean acidification will make these harmful events become more common, lasting for periods of about one month and affecting certain areas surrounding Antarctica. Around this time, a rapid transition will begin. Over the following 20 years, models predict that a larger area of the Southern Ocean will be affected. In addition, these dangerous conditions will last for periods of up to five months per year. By the end of this century, more than 70% of the Southern Ocean will be affected, stretching all the way from Antarctica to the southern parts of South America and New Zealand. These dangerous conditions will become nearly year-round features across wide expanses of the Southern Ocean. It is likely that pteropods and other marine organisms that are dependent on carbonate ions will struggle to adapt to such rapidly changing environmental conditions. As a result, human-induced ocean acidification poses a serious hazard to our marine ecosystems, fisheries, and economies. Only an immediate and substantial reduction in human-induced carbon dioxide emissions would limit these harmful conditions to short, sporadic, and localized events in the Southern Ocean.